Okay, we got a great deal here today. We're going to look at. Uh, hopefully, uh, we haven't uh, we haven't underwritten it, but hopefully it is. It's actually a, a legal triplex in Oshawa, uh, 1064 Ravine Road in Oshawa. Okay, it's going for 1.3. It's actually pretty expensive for a three triplex, but we're going to analyze it to see if they, if we can do something with it. Uh, and th again, we don't have to actually offer that price, right? I mean, 1.3 is actually pretty high. So. Uh, for Oshawa, okay? So um, we're gonna go to the cash flow analyzer, the, probably the best way, fastest way, quickest way to uh, determine if we can actually cash flow a property, okay? Um, this is it here. You can get it at uh, guaranteecashflow.ca if you like. And let's just jump right into it, okay? So what we're gonna do is it's at 1064 Ravine Road. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually co copy and paste. I added some of the information already into uh, into the cash flow analyzer in terms of the, the income, but I will I will go over it just to help the you know make it a little simpler to uh to underwrite this deal okay so we're going to always put the address in here you can copy the picture and put it in here as well you just click on the picture and add it uh i like to do that too but sometimes you know we're just underwriting a deal quick we'll just do it later okay so the market cap in oshawa is approximately approximately four approximately four uh four uh four percent okay so uh we're going to put in four Sorry, it's not four, it's uh, it's 5% and number of units is three, okay? So this is important, you always wanna start off with that. Okay, so this is located in Ontario and, uh, and we're, we're gonna say no no one is a first time home buyer. You're an investor, you wanna buy this, okay? Purchase price is 1.3, 1 1.31900, 1 okay? We're gonna put 20% down and interest rate of 5%. Okay, let's leave it at that. That's kind of the standard. Okay, we can always adjust it, which we will. Okay, we're going to move it down here. Uh, so we did, uh, I did go through the description, uh, basically legal triplex, uh, has the opportunity and ability to build three additional units, if you like, uh, zoned for that, which is great. Okay, but it, obviously there's an additional cost to that. It's completely been renovated from top to bottom, all three units, bathrooms, kitchens, and so forth, appliances. It looks really nice. Uh, let's just go through the pictures really quickly. Uh, this is the front really nice look at you can see that it's all been done up quite nice i'm gonna go through it uh you know on your own just gonna go through it you know we're gonna go through it quickly so it's got the parking in the back it looks like it's really well maintained okay nice property okay so we're gonna uh we're gonna go here so i, I already kind of looked at this the main floor is currently rented at 2450 so what i did was here i just kind of changed it here because there looks like it's six bedrooms but there's three units, which means more than likely there, you know, there could be three three bedroom units, but we don't know this at the stage. Uh, you're gonna reach out to the broker. So you're gonna go here to the broker information here, and that way you can validate it. Call Michael Emmanuel Beckford, and there's this phone number. Uh, there'll be a link in the in the description, so you can click right on it, and it'll go right to this the property if you're interested. Okay. Uh, main floor, we're gonna put one, and it's 2450. I already added that information. You can change this information here. But pretty much you only change everything that's in blue. But I did leave this ability to change if you if you if you need to. In this case, this is what's happening. Upper floor is two thousand uh, dollars. It says right here, upper floor two thousand dollars is rented, currently rented. So two units are currently rented. One is available. Okay. So these two are rented. The main floor and upper, and this is getting this and this and the basement. I put basement here. But we're gonna say uh, it's yeah it's basement currently available close to amenities so we don't know what how many um uh, how many uh, how many rooms this is we're gonna assume it's it's two okay so we're gonna put uh, one 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 so it's three units we're gonna put it at average is two thousand so this is just give me a second here. Okay, so those are added up. So it's actually making 6,450 a month. Uh, this is what it is making a year. Uh, we're gonna put a vacancy of 5%. It's actually really low 5%. So basically if anyone, vac if anyone doesn't uh, you know, uh, secure the property or any there's a vacant unit at any time, in the case this is one, again, we're assuming that we can get a tenant in and this is fully tenanted, okay? So 5%, we only, we only have a buffer of $3,000. I'm gonna put 10% in. So that way, you know, you know, in the event that we do have a, a vacancy, you're going to use this re, uh, the surplus of money to actually pay down your your mortgage. Okay, so total is 60, 69 grand. You can look over here. We already it already added the, the information. So are we in a positive cash flow? We are not. We're actually already in a negative cash flow, and we haven't added any expenses. Okay, 
So obviously there's something wrong here and it's gonna be the price, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so automatically once you put this information here, the taxes are added for you here. Now they're not added into the into the equation because we're just determining if you want to use it or not. So we're using one percent uh, on taxes as an average and zero point zero seven on uh, the insurance. Again, you don't have to use this. Uh, if you want, you can. You're just going to copy this and paste it into here and so forth. So we look down here, and in the information it says utilities. Uh, 2024 plus utilities, which means the tenants are paying for utilities, okay, which is great. So we don't have to put any information here, but there are going to be other expenses, obviously, right? Like, you know, lawn, snow, you need to want a cap reserve, you want maintenance. So right away, we have already 5% maintenance that goes in there automatically. That's uh, just kind of default. You can take it out and I'll show you how to do it. But what I like to do just to make things quick, we're going to do a manual expense, usually between 35 to 50% is what the average is for expenses. It's kind of realistic number, okay? So we're gonna actually put in, because there's only three units and it's completely renovated uh, and new appliances, there's not gonna be that many expenses. So we're gonna put that actually at, um, let's gonna put it at, uh, let's say 20%, plus the five for the maintenance, okay? So 25% total in, in, uh, in expenses. So we're gonna scroll down. 69,000 is your income for the year. This is, this is your expenses for the year. Okay, so we have uh, 50,000 is in operating income. So if we scroll down over here, and obviously we have a, a surplus. We're gonna, I'm gonna make this smaller so you can see the whole thing laid out. That way we can make the adjustments and we'll, we'll can see automatically if it's a cash flow or not, okay? So this, if you can leave it on the screen like this, and then you know right away, you can make your adjustments and see everything kind of in the open. Uh, because it's hard on the screen, you're gonna have a full screen and you, you won't have an issue. So um, let's see here. So we're obviously in a negative cash flow, 17,000, which is crazy, okay? So this is obviously a big problem here. We're gonna raise the rents. I think the rents are already good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to, uh, we're gonna double check these rents here. So we're gonna go to, uh, what, Google? What's the average rent in Oshawa? So wherever can I already type this up? We're gonna to like to go to Zoomer. That's kind of the fastest way of doing it. There are other uh, websites that do this too. And maybe it's maybe it may be a little bit more, you know, narrowed down. But you have to it costs you money, right? Okay, so we're gonna say two bedrooms in Oshawa is one thousand nine. So actually, we're getting more than market rents. So we're not gonna raise the rents, okay? Because they're also paying utilities. So there's no point in raising the rents. So we're gonna leave that zero. Laundry. There's three units. We're not gonna charge for laundry. I believe there's already units and laundry units in the property. Parking. No, even though there's nice parking in the back. Uh, you can maybe put a pet fee. I always like to put a pet fee in there in the event that more than likely mostly people have pets. Dogs only, okay, $100 for a deposit fee. Again, that's just, uh, it's $100 recurring cost for the pet fee, but, you know, we'll put that in because usually people have pets, okay? Uh, a lot of people have dogs. So tenants pay utilities? Yes, they do, right? So we're leave, we don't leave that blank, but we are adding 20% for overall expenses. Energy efficient lighting, you're not going to make too much of a difference. We're going to leave it low, uh, blank. That usually works really well and saves a lot of money when there's common areas, when there's big, uh, a big build, building, like 10, 20, 30 units. You're going to save a lot of money there, okay? Interest uh, interest rates. So we we look, we look click there. Make sure we do it so we don't forget. Uh, we're going to come over to interest rates, 5%. We're not going to get lower than 5%, okay? Not in this market. So we're going to leave it like that. It may even be more. So increase down payment. Yes, we can. So you're going to click that. So we want to obviously make bring this into cash flow. So we look down at the very bottom on the right-hand side. You're going to see the cash flow. It's in red. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to increase that down payment to 30% on the 8th. Okay. We're going to increase it to 40%. Okay. Now we're just to $73 in a negative cash flow per year. Okay. So, uh, but you're going to need 40%. You're going to need 527000 okay, for this property to do this. So um, they may, that might not be some, something that might be unrealistic to, to most people. So we're going to put it back at 20 because we're going to do some other things first, okay? We're going to go self-maintenance. I think yes, because it's Oshawa. I mean, depending on where you live, uh, it's, it's hopefully not too far from you. Uh, if you're in a GTA, you're gonna, it should be easy for you. Uh, it's, everything's brand new. It's everything redone, new appliances. So I don't see any many the properties really looks like it's well maintained. Uh, you just have to keep that up. I would say, yes, you're going to self-maintain it. So you're going to do is you're going to reduce 5%. So if you look over here, this was 5%. Now it reduced it to uh, zero. 
So now uh, that's a little bit there, okay? So now the rent guarantee program is something I always recommend. Basically, they, there's a company that you pay them 5%, 5, 5 or 5.5% 5 .5 of uh, the total gross income per month, per unit. Uh, and, and, uh, um, and this is what they'll save you, okay? So, um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in, we're gonna say yes autom automatically. So we're gonna hit yes. So if we look down here at 13,000, look at the cash flow. We're gonna hit yes. So the, now what happens is we're, it's going to add it, okay? It's going to add that percentage, that guarantee, at 5.5% automatically for you, and it's going to add the amount per month. But now what we're going to do is we're going to save $7,000, right? So we're going to, obviously, we're going to have to reduce that uh, vacancy because it's guaranteed now. So the, in the event that there's a tenant vacant or that tenant leaves their job, they leave, whatever the situation is, this company will come in and pay that rent for you for 12 months, okay? They will also help you evict a, cl a client. Uh, a tenant, they will uh, uh, hire a lawyer to evict them. They will also, if they're in the event that the tenant leaves the property and it's damaged, they'll pay up to ten thousand dollars. So it's an amazing, amazing program, and I recommend that for everybody who's an investor. Okay, so we're going to go into that. We're going to put that ten twenty, that uh, five point five percent in there, but we're going to remove the vacancy because it's guaranteed. There you go. So see, it went from seventeen to nine thousand. Okay. So now what is left? It's obviously the price. So we're going to go here, reduce offer price. We're going to click yes. It's way too high. Okay, one thousand, one one million three for this property. It's a triplex. It's crazy expensive. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it down to a million. Let's just see what happens. All right, I was right the first time. One more zero. There you go. Okay, so now we're in six thousand. You see that from one point they went one three nine, which is absolutely nuts. Okay, uh, and so we're get there. We're brought it down to one one million. Uh, which is three hundred thousand, almost four hundred thousand dollars off uh, asking, and now we're already in cash flow of six thousand dollars per year. Okay, now is this more favorable? Okay, yeah, maybe it is. How about we put down maybe a twenty percent instead of twenty percent? We're going to put thirty percent down. There you go. It jumped up. If you look down here at the bottom, it jumped up to thirteen thousand. Okay, so basically that's what you do. You just play around with the numbers. You see, maybe twenty percent is too high for the expenses. Twenty five. Twenty five. You can't change the rent guarantee because that's going to be there. But you can maybe, maybe it's maybe the expenses are going to be 15%, let's say. Let's just put 50%. There you go. It went up to 17,000. Okay. So that's what it does. Okay. You just make an adjustment and then you can, then you try to see, okay, listen, I like this. I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this cash flow per year. We're going to scroll down and I'm going to show you a, 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 an overall. What is it? What is this? Is this a good deal? So what will happen is this, this is a, 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 a overall evaluation of what you did above. You can do two properties at once. So if you look here to the side, uh, you can do another property here, another cash flow property, uh, property two. And then what happens is once you put that information in, let's say you're analyzing two deals at once, you want to see which one's better. You can do two properties at once and all the information will be populated here. These are all essentially the, the things that you have to be concerned about. Uh, cash flow per year, monthly profit, your cash on cash return, your deal cap rate needs to be higher than the market cap to make it a good deal how many units the property is, what's the cost per door, and what's essentially your offer price, okay? There's other options here where we go into a VTB, which is a vendor take back. The, lend, the person who's selling the property will take a portion of the mortgage to help you qualify for the loan. You go down here, it's also rent target analysis. You can estimate to see, okay, if I raise the rents $100, how much it's gonna be over the course of the term. Uh, uh, general rent uh, rules of thumb. So you looked up, if you saw up there, it was the, the taxes and the, um, and the insurance. This is how it works. We put the information in, it populates it automatically for you, and it calculates these numbers. So if you're looking for, okay, trash removal, you're looking at about $50 a month for that. And this is an average. You kind of put that in. But what I did was instead of doing all those numbers, you can do it individually if you want. And when it comes to a bigger property, you're probably going to want to do that, okay? You want to narrow it down, go specifically on and, and certain things like you know your if you have payroll or if you have utilities waste recycle lawn snow and then you have other you can add stuff here even a cap reserve okay you're gonna have a cap reserve uh usually twenty fifty dollars per unit just in case something happens again you're looking at bigger properties not something like this uh management you obviously want to this is you can manage this yourself you want to put a management fee Absolutely, if you're going through a property, maybe 10 units and above, uh, I would absolutely put a management fee in there. Uh, okay, so right now you're in, in a good state here. So you, this is where you're averaging 17,000 17, per year. This is what the cash flow is five years. 
and this is a five-year refi. So if you're going to doing a Burr method, which is basically your, uh, uh, you know, you're 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 buying it, you're 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 renting it, you're rehabbing it, you're refinancing, and then you repeat. Okay. So this is what this is what essentially you can possibly, hopefully, potentially refi eighty percent of the value in five years. Okay. This automatically is calculated from this information below. Okay. And you can adjust everything in blue. All right. Everything in blue, you can adjust it. And so it gives you a good perspective in five years what this could be possibly worth, okay? Uh, again, you're going to save each file according to the property. That's what I recommend. Uh, and so right now, if you're comfortable with 17000 then this is a good investment. But again, you're going to have to, they're going to have to agree to a price of a million dollars, and you're going to have to have at least three hundred grand down for, three, for a 30% deposit to secure this cash flow, right? So now it's a matter of just sending a, a, an offer. Setting up, putting an offer to the to the to the broker, or or if you want to go directly to the um, to the to the client. I mean, in this case, you're going to probably have to go through the broker. Uh, you go through the broker. You make a, a, a recommend. You put an offer in, let's say a million dollars, and it's up to the, it's either they accept it or not, depending on how long has this property been on the market. Sometimes when the property has been on the market a long time, uh, you know, maybe they're ready. They they're ready to to let it go, right? Time on realtor.ca, 17 days. So it hasn't been up there too long, okay? Uh, so maybe they're not motivated right now to sell, right? But who knows? You don't know the situation, right? Uh, call the broker, ask them what's going on uh, with the property, and, uh, and they'll be able to gather some information for you and make an uh, informed decision, okay? So again, purchase price, $1 million, uh, 30%, and this is what you can, you can potentially receive on cash flow based off of these rents. Again, you have to validate everything before you even move on uh, to put an offer in, okay? And uh, so this is it. You can secure this cash flow property at, um, uh, sorry, this this uh, uh, real uh, analyzer at guaranteedcashflow.ca. Also guys, it's very important that like, I mean, we're, we're, we're analyzing these deals and it's cool and it's fun because we're searching properties and we're analyzing and we're seeing if, if, if this can cash flow. And let's say we do find something that cash flows, well now, Okay, you know it's a million dollars, and you got let's say you have three hundred thousand dollars for the down payment. You still need seven hundred grand, plus closing costs, plus everything that actually calculates this for you. So it tells you what you're going to require on closing. Okay, um, and that's so you have to evaluate yourself. Well, how can I get that seven hundred grand plus clo uh, plus closing costs? You know you're going to need that financing. Well, how are you going to do it? Well, this is where I come in. I can also help you with that as well. All right, I'm a licensed uh, mortgage agent, so we. Uh, we specialize in investment properties and uh, investors, and we have all kinds of programs that help. And so, reach out to me. Let me know if you're if this is uh, something you want to do. Once you find a cash flow property, analyze a couple deals. You find one that you really are intrigued with. Reach out to me. Save that file. Copy the share it with me. You're just going to come up to here. You're going to share the file with me. You're going to uh, uh, in the in the below. You're going to have my email address and everything. You're going to share it with me. You're going to book a call. Okay, so you're going to book a call. It'll, come, it'll pop up. It's not, it's not popping up. It's a little slow, but you're going to just share with me uh, this this file. And when you're going to book a call with me, once you book a call with me, tell me what's the address on the file uh, of the property. And if you can send me a link, add me add a link to the to the to the description. And that way we could uh, we can and I'll jump on a Zoom call with you after you book an appointment. And then we'll analyze the deal together, see if you missed anything or see if, we, you know, something that you should be concerned about. We'll go into your, your situation and how to get you that money to buy that property, okay? So I'm here for you to help you and uh, reach out to me uh, and uh, book a call and we'll see. We'll go from there, all right? Okay, thanks. Till next time.